and welcome to the front unboxes uh GameStop limited edition lunar white con Xbox One controller. Hey, well, that's it. Yeah, I kind of. I'm still I'm still used to the whole unboxing thing or the unboxing intro. I'm still used to the um I'm still used to the uh look looks at or in game uh, looks at bit uh looks at uh videos or looks at intro. So yeah. But anyway, so yeah, here we are looking at the Lunar White controller, which is a special edition controller that you can get that is exclusive to GameStop. Uh, as you can see, it's an Xbox One controller, and that's basically all you need to know. Now, like I said, it's limited edition, and I actually got this at, on Black Friday with the, um, I actually got this on Black Friday because it has a sale on it. As you can see, the normal price is 64 no. Oh, yeah, sixty-four dollars, which is kind of expensive for an Xbox One controller, because even my even the um, Halo Five controllers were actually no, they were sixty-nine. They're sixty-nine. Never mind. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I got this for forty-four dollars, which is actually downright amazing. And, and I need a fourth controller anyway because my my events my events warfare controller has a problem with the buttons. Uh, my special forces controller has a problem with the stick. Um, I, they won't control it as a problem with something, uh, and I only have the Tiger Fall control that works, the Halo 5 Guard, the Halo 5 Guardians control that works, and the Halo 5 Master control that works. And as you can see, that's three. We need four. This is four. So, let's look at it. Alright, so what makes the Lunar White, Lunar White controller special is the fact that it's white, and it has a gold D-pad. Yes, gold. Uh... And also, it's a edition, which means you can only get them for a certain period of time, although these been in stores for I don't know how long. Uh, but yeah, they are a limited edition, though, so if you want one, you might want to hurry up and get it. No, I guess they also have good tr gold triggers. And then the bottom... Actually, the other... The left... Oh, right side... There we go, and now the bottom. One bit dirt run looks at it. Or one bit dirt run unboxes if we didn't take a look at the entire box in its entirety. All right, there we go. Now let's open it. Now I saw it when I was looking at the bottom. I saw it down here, and my gloves are, as you can see, they're dirty now. I mean, I use them for just about everything. So, yeah. I know that's where I was getting done unboxing the. Uh, Halo 5 Guardians controller, um, I have an idea, there we go, ta-da, we don't have two hands, you must make two, trying to get in there, I think use the sink since that's in the way, come on, Okay, I guess. It, oh, I can just. Why didn't I just do this to begin with? I forgot. I can do that. Now, oh, come on. There we go. Man, are my clips clean? They're clean. So, what's going on here? I guess my gloves are just shitting, which is possible because these are really old. Alrighty, so let's open it. And gaze upon the glory of the white controller. Which you may be asking, wait, why? What's so special about that? I have 500 white, white uh, uh, 360 controllers. Yes, but the Xbox One only comes in black. It's like, basically with Xbox One, white is as special as black is for 360. And there we go. Oh, the berries are on top this time. How intriguing. And wow. Here's the controller. Really nice. I'll take you. Uh, is that spec or is that intentional? Yeah, that's, that's spec. Alright, there we go. Alright, so let's grab it. I also need the box dirty. And here we go, here's the, uh, it's actually really, really light. I mean, sure, the batteries aren't in it, but still. And the gold triggers. 
But it's just the standard controller, just white, pretty much. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna take my glove off real quick so I can see. Uh, I can. There we go. Oh, look at this! The backs are rubberized! That's really interesting, and I do like the feel of this. Again, it's really, really, really light. Let's actually... Uh... I like the feel of this controller. It's, um... It's not slippery as the Master 2 controller is, and it's not... It's somewhere between the Master 2 controller and the Titanfall controller in terms of feel. But also it has these, uh, grips on the back. Which I believe it, in the, it's relation to the, um... Uh, it's, it's related to the... What do you call it? The, um... Elite controller. No, the, you know, not the Elite controller as in a black 360 controller, by Elite in controller, elite, by Elite controller I mean, um, uh, by Elite controller I mean, um, you know, the, uh, the, the Pro controller, there we go. The Pro controller for 360, alright, there we go. And they should be right back once I get the batteries in, because, I'm, go I'm going to need to open this, so I'll be right back. Alright, done. So let's turn it on, see if this is anything special. Yeah, it's blue again. Now, now, what's that about the, uh, I believe it's blue when it's searching, when it's searching, and then it's white when it's normal. So, that's what I believe what's going on, that's what happened with the Xbox, uh, with the, uh, Halo 5 controllers, I think. So that's interesting. Alright, so, um, what do I feel about this controller? Is it worth, is it worth, uh, $64? It depends how much you, it depends, if you like, if you want a, uh, a special controller that's limited edition, yes, it's worth it. If you want a, or if you just want a really white controller, or if you just want a white controller with gold, uh, with gold, um, with gold D-pad and gold triggers, then yes, it's worth it, as well as rubberized back, because rubberized back might be helpful. Um, it, it's worth it. However, it's not, you know, it's not nearly as special as the Halo 5 controllers are, but, you know, it's pretty cool in its own right. I think yeah, I think it's worth it if you need a new if you need a new Xbox controller and don't and want to get a special edition one. I think it's definitely worth it. Um. So yeah, that's basically it. That's all this video is all about. So I don't know how long I'm recording, but I never do it these. So it'd probably be shorter than 30 minutes, but oh, well, they can all be 30 minutes. So um, yeah, it's definitely a pretty cool controller. I like it. I'm probably using this since since it's Derby's back, or maybe I'll use it deep. Well, I can I can pick and choose which controller I use I use now because I got four of them I can use. Alright, but anyway, so, I mean, like, the only real problem with the... No only real, um, the thing about me, uh, about using controllers, the fact that I had to switch my, uh, I switched my Halo Master Collection, um, thumbstick covers from, go from controller to controller, that doesn't really work out that well. Alright, but anyway, so, um, yeah, that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate you guys watching uh, this video with me. And also, you know, me to leave a comment there, where I tell you have any questions, let me have any questions in the series, like what, um, like what, like what you want me to unbox next, or tips out, or any, uh, or any questions that you have on the Lumware controller, please let me know, if, 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 if I'll try to answer them if I can, uh, or I'll reject you to someone that I probably can't answer them. So, um, yeah, that'd be it for this video, I guess. I'm also, record, I recorded this a little early, like, that early, uh, that's in the AM, by the way, because uh, I, I got it up at 5, because I, hey, long story short, short, you know, uh, GameStop opened at 5, um, or long story, long story, uh, GameStop opened at 5 AM, on Black like Friday, uh, which I decided to go GameStop to get this controller, and that, right there, a PlayStation 3. Uh, which I'll be recording my first PlayStation 3 video after I record, um, after I record one more, uh, one more Dirt Fun Unboxes, which is that over there. Um, uh, but anyway, so I got up early to do that, I only had, only got like, uh, I don't know, like, four, I only got like six hours of sleep, which is not, which is unnormal for me. I went to sleep at, what, like, uh, I went to sleep at 12, woke up at five, sleep at five hours, and I, uh, Although, you know, I, I, I was, you know, although I was fully awake for the most of the day, but unfortunately I kind of started dozing off, like, uh, after, like, I, like, I started dozing off at, like, 12, or, uh, like, 1, and I would just, and then I just slept for two hours, and, yeah. So I went back, so I had to go back to sleep at, like, 8, 
which is again odd for me, but oh well. Didn't get anything done, which I wanted to get this done that day, but I couldn't because I was dozing off and couldn't be helped. Uh, so I had to do it this morning, which again is odd for me. So I hope I, also, I hope everything's done okay. All right, but anyway, so um, yeah, I think it's totally worth it for this controller, for this controller and PS3 as well as all those games over there. Yeah, uh, so it's definitely worth it. Because I had a two-for-one pre-owned thing, uh, pre-owned uh, deal where you could get, where if you got two pre-owned things, whether it be two pre-owned games controller or any accessory, any accessories, you got one. Uh, uh, you got one thing for free, so yeah, that's what we did with the, uh, we got a ton of, um, games. Um, by the way, so, um, yeah, that'll be it for this video. Yeah. Oh, and I got the, I got a 320 gigabyte PS3, which is the whole reason why I wanted to go there for $169, which is awesome. Um, but anyway, so, um, yeah, that'll be it for this video, and I guess, see you! And it's, oh, yeah, the second video we're doing is, uh, the Franco Mystery Box, which is over there, uh, I got that as well. Actually, my grandma got that because she thought twenty. You, know, you got you got like forty dollars of stuff for twenty dollars, so why not just get one? Just because why not? So that's what we got. So I'll be unboxing that, and I guess see you in a second.